what's up? I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys and this time I'm gonna be opening the Transformers Generations Kingdom War for Cybertron Voyager Class Rhinox. Now yes, it's true that there was a previous Generations version of Rhinox that some people say is much better than this and I will say proportionally it does look much better. Especially at the head sculpt and the paintwork, I think the gold just doesn't really blend too well on this version. However, what I will say is the reason why I got this is to fit in the War for Cybertron collection, and also because I like War for Cybertron in general, and I like the Beast Wars characters, so I thought, yeah, let's go ahead and get it. I mean, it does look pretty nice in some areas. I, I actually don't mind how the chest looks. I know some people don't like it, but I, I personally don't mind it. Uh, anyway, so yes, he is in the package. We are going to open him from the package, but beforehand, I wanted to take a look at the artwork. Take a look at the rhino. Take a look at the robot. It actually looks pretty nice. So let's go ahead and open it from the bottom like I normally do. This is the only figure from the Wave 3 lineup, uh, which I believe was meant to have a re-release of the Starscream, but I still haven't seen anything on that. Um, so I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know if it's supposed to be packed with Tigatron or something, but so far I've seen nothing on that. Let's go ahead and continue to open it from the bottom, like so. Maybe they stopped that re-release because they're doing the Coronation Starscream, so I was like, eh, do we really want to? All right, had to cut away from there for a second, but uh, there's the white sheet and there's the instructions and uh, there's a rhino head right here with some leg parts and weapon parts on the back, but on the front, oh, take a look at that. And then we also have a Dinobot card. I wonder what this is this time that nobody probably cares about. Hey, they actually taped it up from the top so that you have to cut it to be able to actually take a look at it. So there's the card, and uh, yeah, Dinobot, is this that Dynamis thing that uh, is just there? I should probably take out all the cards and just put them somewhere. Yes, it's that Dynamis. I still don't understand the context behind that. There's now a upgrade kit out there that you can go ahead and get for making Dynamis from the Kingdom one. So if you want to do that, go ahead. But uh, I don't... Oh, that was... Not even on there. <laughs> uh, I just don't really see the point. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we got that. We got this. We got that. We got that. And it looks like there's another... Or is that a rubber band? I can't really tell. There's that. Um, yeah, I can't really seem to get them out. Seems like there's another strand right there. So let me try to get that out. Um, still feels like it's caught on something. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna try and get the other side out. Oh, and I don't want to cut the plastic of Rhinox itself. That would have been disastrous. Uh, let's see. Still trying to get this out. I don't know why it's so difficult. Uh, the legs are out. Uh, okay, there we go. <laughs> That's a weird position right there. Yes, his arms are awkward, I get that, and he does look kind of thin, but he does look very wide too at the same time, so... I don't know, I, I don't necessarily mind that. Uh, one thing I do like is the portholes right here, because, oh, you can attach stuff on this figure. Because for some of the Beast Wars-esque characters, they really skip out on that, but here, with Rhinox, no, you get that. Um, you get that additional thing going on. Uh, the legs are definitely weird. I, I, I think what's weird about them is not that they're wide, but they look like they go uh, too far in. So I do understand that. But, uh, oh, and I don't like the thin joints around the knees. Ooh, that feels weird. Uh, not entirely too sure where these are supposed to go, but uh, there he is. Trying to turn this just a little bit so that it looks a little bit better. And uh, does he have a foot joint? He's got a tilt, but forward and back? Yes, he does. Okay, good. So, that's pretty good. Uh, let's see. Okay, just stand him up. He looks alright in general for a Rhinox. I mean, if you couldn't get the original Rhinox and you don't really care so much about accuracies or how it looks, I, I, I think what kills it for this is that there's a better one in the market because I don't think this looks too bad in person. I, I mean, yeah, if I nitpick it yeah it, it's it's not the best but still uh let's go ahead and try to take these out <sighs> come on 
I'm not a big fan of the weapons though, I will say that, because they don't really spin, and they just seem way too small for him. I mean, let's go ahead and plug them onto his hands. Ah, they're a little tight. Yeah, I, I, I mean, from the front view, that's pretty much all you saw from the, the weapons anyways, but still, they just look so tiny that uh, I'm, I'm a little disappointed by that. But uh, there you go, there's Rhinox with his pew pew things, spinny blades. So you got that. I'm, I'm not sure about the color of green too, and it doesn't really blend well with the gold on the head. I've, I've mentioned this before, but yeah. Uh, you could also take the weapons, this is actually a cool thing. So you could take them off. And uh, I do like how they use the blast ports as pegs when you combine them. But you can go ahead, I believe, somehow. I, I thought you could plug them here, but it doesn't seem to be the case. But you can plug them on the back. And it's not the best looking thing, but it is something that's there. And I appreciate that it is there. Also, I do like the fact that he's got a butterfly joint. Yeah, he's got hollow gaps, but I'm used to that with Transformers, honestly. It's not the biggest problem. Uh, I, I've heard that some people have problems with the shoulders flopping down. Mine seems to be fine. And yes, that is very strange to look at. Uh, but I, I don't imagine I'm going to have Rhinox posing like that too often. It's mostly going to be like that, I think. Uh, because he's a chunkier boy, he can kind of work with that. So that is the robot mode. I actually do like the gold in the chest. I know some people don't, and I understand why some people don't. That, that's totally fair. But one thing I do like is the fact that his knees don't flop around so much, because that was my biggest issue with the original Generations figure. I completely forgot that that's one of the main reasons why I got this, was because I just... The leg articulation I was not having fun with on the original. This one at least can pose, you know? So... Uh, I'm going to combine the weapons, and they combine like so, which I thought was a nice touch. And we're going to open up the instructions and figure out how to transform him, because I don't think I could figure it out on myself, especially considering all the tricks and doodads that go on with the legs. In fact, there's 35 steps on this. So hang tight, ladies and gentlemen, although most of them are just going to be, hey, you can figure this out for yourself. Take for example, I'm pretty sure the arms are just, you open this up and swing the hands in. And it's a little tricky to do. It doesn't give you a lot of room to do this. Uh, but there you go. Kind of scrapes against the hand. But it does close up and then rotate that forward. And oh no, my arm has been turned into a rhino arm. It's mutation. It's like Cusco and uh, Emperor's New Groove, where he turns into an animal. All right, that closes up, and we have that. Are those clipped on? Okay, good. I, I thought these were pinned on uh, panels, but because they're clipped on, I'm not super worried about them. Uh, there we go. Rotate that around. That's a little tight, too. And, okay, now we have this. Uh, we take the chest, and we swing this down... And we collapse that in like so. Do we bring that in now? Yep, we do that. And then I'm going to rotate the head right now, just because I think that's going to be easier. We take the Rhino bit right here, and it's on a system of joints. Uh, oh, it does say to rotate the head anyways. Okay, so we've got it like that. The arms will go forward like so. Uh, I'm also seeing this panel right here. Was I supposed to do something with that now? Uh, not right now. Okay, so we got this. And let's see. We bring these back. If I'm not mistaken. It looks like there, yeah, there's a joint right here. So we bring this back. That goes right there. And then I'm just going to leave those up for now. And then bring those up. This is a little tight, but of course it's the first time, so, you know, some joints are usually a little tight at the start. I'm trying to get this past the head, but I couldn't even do that. And then, okay, so we have this going on right now. Uh, let's see, okay, so, yeah, it does show the arms going straight forward like this. 
And it shows the rhino head goes down all the way, like so. And, uh, let's see, it also shows the mouth that can open up a little bit, which is nice. I do like the head, actually. Uh, I know it's not exactly like Rhinox in the original cartoon, but, I mean, if you've seen all these alt modes, then you pretty much get the general idea. I'm not sure if this uh, piece is supposed to tab into anything. It looks like there's supposed to be some tabs, but I'm not sure if it really just lines up or if it just sits there. Uh, no, I think it just sits there for right now. I, I could be entirely wrong about that. Uh, let's see, these will go somewhere. I don't know why they're not showing. Yeah, you put them somewhere right now, uh, but I will wait on that. Okay, so we take these panels and we open them up. Now this is where things get a little complicated. Okay, so we take this and it's showing him up like that. And then the knees bend down like so, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. The, the knees, I'm a little worried about how they're designed. It just doesn't look strong, but I could be wrong about that. Okay, so we have this. All right, so, so it shows that this is supposed to go straight, but it can't really do that with this in the way. So what else am I supposed to do? It's supposed to pop out and come up like this, and then now I'm able to straighten that up. There we go. So it's up like that, uh, but that's as far as it will go, it seems, so I'm going to have to wait on that. I've heard that the leg transformation is the trickiest with this toy. Uh, let's see. Okay, so now we can fold that down all the way, bring this up, and now we have that. And that just looks disastrous. I mean, come on. What is that monster? All right, so uh, what's next? Okay, so we take the uh, rhino legs and we're supposed to bring them out, but you can't really do that until you bring this out. So do that, do that. And then what are we supposed to do? Okay, rotate this to where the ball joint is facing up. So completely rotate that around, and then bring that up. Okay, so that makes sense. That's the entire leg. And then bring up the feet, I think like that. And then rotate them forward, like so, like so, I believe. And then, what else are we supposed to do? I'm a little confused by this. Uh, let's see. Oh, rotate them down again. And they will tab into these sections right in here. There we go. Kind of clicks into place, actually. There we go. Um, let's see. There we go. Okay, so I got that in. Just going to... Yeah, make sure I got that in. Okay, so we got this. Now what's next? Uh, we take this and we kind of bring it up a little bit, but it doesn't really go up. It's pretty much as far as it will go. So, I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, so that goes up. And then it shows that we bring the hinge up from here. I think. Uh... Ooh, that felt bad. Okay, so the the skirt pieces are supposed to go down, I believe, and then this comes up. It's just very tricky to work with. Um, oh, or maybe not. <laughs> so with that out of the way, I'm going to try to maneuver this, although you can't really get it past the knee. What the hell? Um... Okay, so I'm, I'm seeing this. Um, let's see. Can this go further back? No, it can't. So this is just very complicated on how this works. See, I can feel that go past that. But there we go. That was terrible. That was really bad engineering right there. And then this will come up like so, I believe. And there's a tab right there that's a little thicker than it needs to be, but whatever. 
And then, uh, what else are we supposed to do? Uh, we're supposed to... Actually, I don't even think we were supposed to do that. I, th I think... It's kind of weird how this is designed, I, I will admit. Uh, let's see. Okay, so this also closes that gap. I I'm starting to figure it out for myself as well. Uh, let's see. Okay, so that comes out like that. And then bring that out. And this is supposed to hook into there, but I can't seem to get it to line up properly now. Um, let's see. Does this come down even further than that? Feels like it probably should, but I don't know. Uh, I just want to close this up for a sec and figure this out. Um, maybe that's not as far down as it should go. Um, I don't know. This is really complicated. I can't figure it out. Okay, I'm going to do the rest of this off camera because it's, I, I don't know. The, the weapons store inside too. I'll, I'll figure it out. Well, I got it in the rhino mode and what I'll say is this. It was actually my fault on what was going on. Not this section. I still don't like how you had to get this past the knee. That was just, that was really bad engineering. I'm just going to flat out say. But I didn't clue in that this had to move past, uh, the, the panel, and, and it just kept hitting it. Also, I figured out why you weren't supposed to clip this on until later. It's because that actually pushes down on the legs and makes it harder to plug in the weapons. So that was a little difficult. But besides that, I mean, he's a, he's a brick now with uh, legs and barely any articulation. I mean, that's all you could do with the back legs. It's kind of weird. And then the front legs have... Maybe some articulation. I mean, you could bring them out, but they really just fit into place. All you really get is the mouth that moves, which... Okay, I guess, but I would like a little bit more articulation than that. Maybe this should have been a ball joint or something. I mean, I, I get that they want to make a consistent looking design somewhat. I mean, yeah, it's not really the best, but... Uh, you, you know, this doesn't break off too badly, so... I guess in a sense that works. Uh, I do like the light gray paint applications on the side there. The horns look nice. It's okay, just not really worth transforming because it's pretty much a brick. That's all you're getting. Um, so yeah. I mean, I, I do like the head sculpt. I, I think it's fine, but yeah, this this could have been way better. But I'll say the robot mode is not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I mean, your mileage may vary. I'm pretty sure people are going to disagree with me on that. But, eh, I'm okay with that. You know, as a toy, it's fine. So with that out of the way, I thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those fun dudettes. And I will see you guys next time. All Spark TV. Now that's just pro.